At this point, I've been knitting for a pretty long time and I've made quite a few pieces, but sometimes I look in my closet and I still feel like I have nothing to wear. And let's be real, we all have that one section in our closet where we bury those knits that we just know we don't wanna wear for like one reason or the other, like maybe there's something wrong with it. But in this video, I'm taking a look at those pieces that there's something wrong with them and we're gonna fix them to make them wearable again. Hey friends, welcome. This is my baby. This is my little rotisserie chicken. Luna. Today's video, we're just gonna be fixing some knits that I have that I don't wear because they're just not fitting right and they're not working. Yeah, the reason why I wanna go through and fix these knits, sometimes it's hard to be motivated to go ahead and fix these things, but I already spent all the time making them and I just hate when I don't perfect things. Like, I just want it to be perfect. I hate doing shit and not perfecting it. So I can get the wear out of it and enjoy the product, so. We're gonna be going ahead and fixing those today. She's so cute. Yeah. Today we're gonna be fixing my terrazzo sweater by Petite Knit. I just don't like the neckline. Personally on me, I don't think it looks great on me. I just want a little small neckline. I've realized that that works better for myself personally. And the sleeves are a little bit too tight, so I'm hoping that I can block that one and just stretch out the sleeves and hopefully that'll help with the sleeves. And then that should be enough for that one. Then the second one we're fixing is my zipper sweater by Petite Knit. It's pretty great. The only issue is the sleeves are a little bit uneven. I think I just decreased unevenly and so I'm going to use some elastic and try to pull that in and I'll let you guys know if that works because that's way easier than having to re-knit that whole part of the sleeve. And it's so itchy. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Hmm. I can't. I was gifted some Let Lopi yarn. And I don't know how people wear that yarn. It is so scratchy. It's like what you picture like your grandma's gonna make for you, like that scratchy. And it's so, it's just impossible to wear. I don't know how people wear it, honestly. It's, it's unfortunate. I'm gonna try a couple hacks. I'm gonna share them with you guys. And yeah, I'll basically let you know if they work enough for me to be able to wear this sweater. Because I've tried wearing things underneath it, like even this long sleeve, and I can feel the scratchiness through it, like it's that bad. Maybe we'll hang out with us. And then the last thing I'm gonna be fixing is my blouse number one uh, by My Favorite Things Knitwear. I really like this pattern, but the sleeves are too long. I think the, well, the pattern was fine. It was me, I just kept knitting and I didn't stop. Then I made the sleeves too long. So I'm gonna have to just go back and rip it back. And I think the silk yarn, because it's silk, it stretches quite a bit. So it just totally got screwed up. So I'm gonna fix that. And I forgot to decrease in the bottom because I was just rushing through it because I really wanted it done. And so I'm gonna go ahead and try to bring it in in the like this part of the <laughs> sleeves basically. So yeah, hopefully all these things fit better after. And I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna do. And that's pretty much it. Luna might hang out with us. The babies. Oh, sorry. Sorry, baby. So Luna might hang out with us, but yeah. Anyways, I hope you enjoy. See you in a second. So here's the sweater. I'm gonna look up on Ravelry what needle size I need for this sweater, because I don't remember. Okay, it was US 6, so four millimeters. I'm gonna find my four millimeter needles. Found them. Here they are. Mm, this will probably do. And then I either have to unpick the whole tubular bind off. I think that's gonna be too difficult. <sighs> so I think I'm gonna have to cut the top of this and then unravel it and then try to pick up the stitches with the needles. Y'all don't understand how illegal this felt. Like I've never steaked anything or cut into any knits ever. And this just didn't sit right with me like it was really hard to bring myself to do this but it was worth it in the end for sure and I think because of the mohair I held in this and the fact that I've blocked it before it was just really hard to unravel so I just spent my time with this and went slow with it and just took my time unraveling it to the height that I wanted the collar to be Then once the collar was how I wanted it to be, I just took my time to do a tubular bind off again. This takes forever and it's so hard with this yarn because it just wants to get stuck and I'm just not good at this. But I took my time and it was worth it because it came out really nice. Okay, so now that the neckline is done on this one, I'm going to go ahead and block this to try to make those sleeves fit better. Here's the wool wash I'm using. My mommy got it for me. It smells like pineapples. And I just put a little bit in the water and then I dunk that bitch. And then just resist the urge to frick with it, okay? Just just leave it alone. Let it take its little bath, okay? 
I'm just pushing it under the water so that it's soaked, but really like don't freak with this because you're gonna totally felt your knitting. And once you let it sit for about five or 10 minutes, you can gently squeeze out the excess water and then wrap her up in a towel. And now it's time to block it. So if you've never blocked anything before, basically you're just going to lay it out in the shape that you want it. And normally that's just laying it flat and kind of making sure everything's straight and smooth. But in my situation, I'm really trying to block out these sleeves and make them wider. So what I'm doing is I'm stretching them quite heavily and adding these pins in to hold everything in place and to pull it out how I want it to be. So that will hopefully stretch the sleeves out enough to be the width that I want them now. The next garment is my zipper sweater. Once again, I have a sleeve issue with this garment. Clearly, I just get to the sleeves and I think I know what I'm doing and then I just ignore all the instructions and that's that, I guess. These are way too wide and they kind of just slide around and don't look the best. So a couple options. One option is to frog back and do some more decreases and then re-knit the ribbing but another option that i think might just be enough to work for this is i got some elastic this is from the thrift store which is why it's the wrong color what i'm gonna do is sew this through to just hopefully try to bring it all together and i think that'll make it just tight enough that it's not so floppy. That is my zipper sweater that needs to be fixed. Let's just get right into it. So I'm just kind of going through the knits because they stick out more than the pearls and I'm going underneath each of those and that's where I'm weaving into. And then I'm just gonna pull the elastic to be as tight as the other sleeve to make them even because I think the other sleeve's okay. So I'm just fixing the sleeve to match the other one. So now I'm just tying off the elastic to be the same width as the other sleeve and this should pull everything together so that now they're the same size. So the first hack to softening wool is to add vinegar to your blocking water. So I'm just adding about a cup of vinegar here. Two shots of vodka. So yeah, I don't really know the science behind this method. I thought when I was researching this that I saw something about it um, removing the scales off the fiber and softening it somehow. But now that I'm researching while editing, I'm not finding anything conclusive. And some of the stuff I'm finding is actually saying that this doesn't work. So I'll be the judge of that, I guess. I mean, should I be listening to these random Redditors or should I be listening to my heart, right? And another theory on this is that the vinegar helps reduce the micron count, which is the thickness of the actual fibers. But once again, this Redditor is saying that that is not the case and that this doesn't work. So we'll see. Maybe it'll work for us. And to make this as unscientifically accurate as possible, I'm going to be trying another method at the same time. So we are going to be adding really expensive, really high quality conditioner is what one person recommended and another person recommended to use the cheap shitty stuff so we're using the cheap shitty stuff actually this stuff is cheap but it's pretty good i like it for my own hair and i think this lamb will like it for their hair too oh well, it's not a lamb anymore but i mean maybe it is still a lamb I, I didn't kill the lamb like you don't have to kill the lamb for the wool but okay correction not lamb sheep but yeah they're blocking now they're sisters they're blocking all right so Two of the ones that need to be blocked are blocking now, and all I have to do is finish up fixing the sleeves on the pink blouse number one, and then we just gotta wait for things to dry and we should be good to go. Because this is made with silk, it stretches quite a bit. I actually like the length of the body. Here is what the sleeves are looking like. They're a little bit too long, so I think I'm just gonna like find my end, frog back till the length that I want, and then bind off. So that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing. Now, I'm not gonna show you both sleeves because it's gonna be the exact same thing. So I'm just gonna show you on one. But right now I'm just going in with my knitting needle and picking up all the stitches first so that I don't unravel and have a big freaking mess. So I'm going in, picking up the stitches, then I'm gonna cut and then we're gonna unravel all of it. 
Here is the Forsaken yarn cutting again. I know, it hurts me as much as it hurts you. And then, this one was a lot easier. I just pulled on that end and pulled all the way and started rolling that ball up. And yeah, this was much more satisfying than the first sweater because this one just came apart way easier. And then after I was done unraveling all the way to the needles, I basically just moved the stitches until the stitch with the working yarn was on my left or right side? My right side. I'm not good with my left and rights. And then I was able to bind off like normal because that's how you knit. You used to have things on the right needle and then other things on the left needle and then you do things with it and then it's knitting. Baby, I need help with the final reveals. Okay. Thank you. Great success. Now, for the final reveal that you've been waiting for. So you all remember the before for this sweater, and here is the after. I am going to be wearing this all the time. I love the neckline. I'm so happy with how this came out. <laughs> and now you remember how itchy this one was, and it's so much softer now. I think I'm going to be actually able to wear it, and the sleeves are matching, so that's great. And for the last one, the final blouse number one, the sleeves are the right length now and I'm so happy with it. I'm going to wear this one all the time now. <laughs>